All right, this is the video review of Mech Ideas Demolition Coup. Umlauts are important. Uh, Apex. And this is provided by Big Bad Toy Store. You can get him there either by himself or with his uh, teammate, Geminus. All right, so I'm going to be focusing on Apex for this review. If you want to see uh, the review of his buddy, Geminus, here, you can go and check out Ben's review because he's more of a third partier and I am not. So Apex is basically the classics upified or generations or united or whatever you want to call it version of the old generation one uh, jump starter top spin and uh, top spin uh, the reason I picked uh, to review Apex because I own a top spin and I kind of like airplanes so you kind of see got the same idea here big flying chunk of thing. Uh, Apex is about four inches long in this mode and uh, made of completely made of plastic, very solid plastic. It's pretty good in the hands. Uh, if I only have one complaint about this mode is uh, he doesn't have any wheels, so you can't actually make him roll or anything. Which I know he's, he's a flying machine, but even Geminus doesn't have any wheels, and he's a tank. That's breaking a lot of laws of uh, toy design right there. You can't have a tank without wheels. Anyway, a couple of features of this mode. You can stick his guns up here. These come out in and out pretty smoothly. You know, and they're, they're kind of solid like the old uh, top spin guns. And also, his hammer actually breaks down and turns into a little engine block, which you just kind of peg in here. A couple of tabs, and they just go into those little slots right there. There's even uh, holes right here for the ends of the handle right here. And you can take this apart again. And make the hammer again. And you can even take the hammer and stick it up here, like a tank turret. Looks a bit better when you do it on Geminus, Geminus though, as far as the tank turret thing goes. Transformation is pretty simple. Uh, not a whole lot of weird things. Kind of a cool, couple of cool tricks we'll get into. And just to start off, you can kind of flip these around and you know, disengage the two little engine things here. You can see they're just going to untab right there. And take the legs on the bottom here, and they're gonna come out like this. Okay. With the uh, arms up here, you just kind of rotate them like this. You're gonna disengage this tab from a little slot back here. This is actually the arm, and you just kind of get all this stuff out of the way. You're gonna want to bring the arms up like this. Okay. So now for the body right here, you lift up this little panel right here. I kind of like the fact that they do this little panel thing. That's always like, you got game with Transformers. You got some kind of panel that hides the, the head transformation. And you just flip out this little block that the head is on. And just adjust this up a bit. Now this is actually probably the coolest part where this whole thing comes up and actually comes back to form his upper body. Okay. So from here you just straighten things out. With the hips, you want to do this. This thicker part here actually has to get rotated so it's facing out like that. Okay, Ben didn't actually pick up on this. <laughs> so I'm just telling you right now. All right, so yeah. Remember, thicker part is out. Robot mode. And you just kind of mess around with the arms to get them in the right position. Flip this thing back. And we'll go back in place. These don't lock in, but they just kind of, you know, rest like right where they need to be. So that's kind of all right. Everything's very tight as far as the joints go as well. Okay, so with the hands, first off, I actually like this little detail here. It reminds me of all the tools that the Autobots would pick out of their uh, wrist area. You know, they just made like a vacuum or a cement dispenser or whatever. That was kind of fun in the cartoon. So with the hands, you just kind of go up. And you flip these around. I find that it's best if you leave the hand uh, like this when you want to put it back in there. So I do that. Now with the elbows, actually we're with the arms in general. I'm not really sure which way they're supposed to go. The instructions are like you put them like this and they, they kind of look weird. And I saw Evangelist's review and he had them out like this and this is kind of how I, I assume they were supposed to be in my review. So uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. Not really any good way to put his uh, elbows there. They're very strange. They do, again, do the full arm curl, but they just look weird, especially like that. 
Anyway, we have Apex in robot mode. Fairly well articulated figure. He's about five and a half inches tall in this mode. Give him his guns if you want, like any good figure. Looks pretty cool when posing, has a good range of joints. Nothing too radical, but you know, he's gonna pose pretty well. Uh, the only thing I don't like is that, you know, his head gets stuck on the ends of his collar right here. But, you know, what you gonna do? You give him his hammer, if you want, so you can put the hammer down on something. And just pop one of his guns in the back there for storage, if you'd like. Let's see how he compares with uh, good old Top Spin. And uh, Top Spin, of course, has the very easy transformation. Just like that. There we go. So, yeah, I have to say, they did a pretty good job matching the uh, kind of slightly off white, grayish plastic for their bodies. And also the, again, the kind of grayish blue for the rest of them. So, not a bad job matching it. They do kind of have that same style. He does have some uh, nice kind of gloss black shades right there. And, uh, you know, overall, it's a very chunky, simple aesthetic. I do kind of wish that the, the guns were chrome, though. I mean, this is kind of nice here that you have the chrome gun. Anyway, let's do a couple comparisons while we're here. Here he is again with uh, Geminus. You know, you can say that they actually just kind of swap their colors. They, they share a lot of parts. You can kind of tell. You know, their arms, their forearms are basically the same. Elbows, uh, thighs. Most of the shins are the same, except for on the, the side here. This guy actually... <laughs> Yeah, very hardy toys. I transferred these ton, ton of times and uh, didn't break. You can see Gemnus has tank treads here. He's got tank treads on the back things here. Although most of the parts are still the same, like the whole front of the leg is still the same. The feet are the same. And uh, the bodies are actually most of the same. They just painted these parts differently. Even uh, this part here with the cockpit. You know, his is unpainted. Apex is painted. So yeah, uh, pretty interesting that they managed to get a lot of uh, clear differences from the characters even though they share so many parts. It's a cool trick. So compared with uh, retail figures, because I'm guessing the only reason you really want to buy updated jump starters is to put them next to some classics transformers, chuggers, whatever you want to call them. So here he is with an old deluxe generation Scourge. Looks pretty good. About the right size. You know, I'm sure Ripper Labels is going to give you a uh, couple of nice parts you can put, or stickers you can put there, especially with this little suspicious area. It looks like an Autobot symbol. And if you need to give him an ally, let's bring out a little classic Jetfire. So yeah, you can see. Apex is definitely a uh, deluxe size, and uh, or old deluxe size. It tends to vary now and then. So, hmm, pretty good figure overall. Um, I think he does suffer from not really having the kind of nice toyetic charm, the kind of simple clockwork mechanisms of a uh, old top spin. If you're more plugged into the the old like UK comics or the current IDW comics, then you, you gotta have top spin and uh, twin twist to kind of fill out your Wreckers team, unless Hasbro suddenly starts making them, then uh, who knows what will happen there. But yeah, um, okay figures. Uh, they do exactly what you want them to do. Nothing really bad about them, but uh, yeah, not the most exciting things, but you know, sometimes you just gotta appreciate a good simple robot. And once again, you can uh, check out the text review on CollectionDX.com. Uh, check out the description for the links on where to get this on Big Bad Toy Store. You can get them again, separately or together. And uh, so that's basically it. We have new jump starters. See, so, yeah, I actually forgot that I even own this guy. <laughs> that's how much people care about jump starters. Oh well. <laughs>